In this video, we are going to talk about Aurora Limitless Database offering by AWS. In my opinion, this new feature could be a game changer for scaling the relational databases. As we already know that Amazon Aurora is a fully managed relational database service offered by AWS. Amazon Aurora post SQL Limitless Database is a new feature which is made generally available on 31st October 2024. With this feature in place, Aurora now provides the ability to scale beyond its previous limits, particularly for the right throughput and storage by distributing the database workloads across multiple database instances. Please note that the limitless database is only available when you're choosing Postgres as the database engine. Does it mean with Aurora, you are not able to scale your instances earlier? Well, this is not entirely true. Earlier, you were able to scale Aurora with the help of read replicas, which means if there is increased demand, the read replicas were created. And if the demand decreases, the replicas count was brought down. Please note the database scalability in this case was more focused towards the read operations. The write operations were still limited to a single writer instance only. While efficient for high read demand operations, this model posed challenges for the applications which were in need of high write throughput. The limitless database feature changes this model by enabling multiple writer instances, distributing the write load across these instances, which in turn enables the horizontal scaling for write operations and increasing the write throughput. From use case perspective, the limitless database is primarily useful in case when the RDBMS table is very large or potentially grows faster than the other tables. Earlier, this scenario was handled through NoSQL databases only. As per AWS, Aurora Limitless Database can support millions of write transactions per second and can manage petabytes of data. In Limitless Database, there are three table types, sharded tables, these are distributed across the shards using a designated shard key, which is ideal for scaling the large tables. For the reference tables, copies of these tables are stored on every shard for the faster joint queries. These are common for the lookup tables like tax rates, zip codes, etc. Standard tables, these are like regular Postgres SQL tables placed together on a single shard. Let's understand these types with the help of an example. Imagine you have an orders table with the columns like order ID, customer ID, product ID, quantity, shipping location ID, etc. Let's assume that your order table has potential to grow fast and you need high write throughput for it. You can decide the type sharded for your customer table. While creating the table, you need to decide on shard key. Let's say we are choosing customer ID as the shard key here. What this is going to do? This will ensure that all the orders for a specific customer stay in a single shard. Please note that one shard will contain orders for multiple customers though, which will be a subset of total number of orders. If the number of orders, they are increasing beyond the limit of a single shard, a new shard will be created to store the order entries. Let's say you have another table called shipping rates, which provides the pricing details for different locations, zip codes, etc. As this will be used for all the orders to calculate the shipping cost, you can keep this as a reference table. Once the database identifies this as a reference, it's going to create the full copies of shipping rate tables across all the available shards. With the reference data available in each shard, you can execute queries with high performance where it involves joints between the order and the shipping rates data. Limitless database use a two layer architecture consisting of multiple database nodes. These nodes could be either the shards or the routers. We already talked about the shards to some extent. Routers which come in one or more are the compute nodes that accept SQL connections from the clients. When a client sends a query, the router directs it to the correct shard or coordinates a distributed query across multiple shards. If the query is processed in a single shard only, the result is written back as it is to the client. If the query is processed across multiple shards, the result is aggregated and then sent back to the 
client. There are some key considerations before you decide on this feature. As you understand, the transaction consistency aspect of database does get impacted if you make it a distributed database like NoSQL. AWS has done a considerably good job in this case. Isolation levels which are supported are repeatable read, read committed and read uncommitted. There is no support for the serializable isolation level though. Currently, it supports only Postgres engine. Please note that each cluster can only have one DB shard group. One DB shard group contains multiple shards, which we already discussed earlier. There is a maximum capacity for the shard group, which is 6144 ACUs at the time of recording this video. For sure, Aurora Limitless Database opens new opportunities for scaling relational databases. AWS has extended relational database capabilities to a level previously limited to NoSQL solutions only. For architects and developers, this means more flexibility and power for scaling data-intensive applications based on relational database systems.